Well, hello, beautiful people. Today is a special day. We just got a couple packages in. You wanna go check them out with me? Let's do it. All right. So, we've got a couple packages here. Actually, three, so we have a few packages here. You know what today is? It's sticker day, boys and girls. Let's do a little sticker unboxing. I've never actually used this company. So this was Roeda, R-O-E-D-A, Inc. Um, I actually just found them Google searching different waste management and uh, trash rental sticker companies. And they had good product for a good price. Ooh, that's pretty nice. They include one of these little well, product catalog. I'm not gonna lie, this, this is pretty legit. So first one. Maximum load level. All right, then we got this one here. It's a caution, do not play in, on, or around, or occupy this container for any purpose. And then needs to be placed on a hard level surface, load uniformly, no parking, caution will be towed at owner's expense. This will definitely go on the front of the bin. Hopefully the no parking deters a few people. Um, and then obviously it's nice to have extra warnings if people are playing around it and stuff like that. And then this one I actually thought was pretty cool. So uh, warning, never load container over top load evenly side to side. So that's a good indicator of how to load it level full only uh, and then when, when filling with heavy material like dirt rock sand plaster or sod load container only one quarter full so on the craziest end of things my 20 yard container gets five yards of um, whatever from you know a very clear indicated sign that's the worst case scenario i can take that now these guys I have used before, right? So I'm hoping to go local with my stickers soon, but I ordered from Sticker Mule at the very beginning. Hey, Daddy. What's up, buddy? Over there. Okay, don't play with the ants, okay? You can still, you wanna go play with your excavator again? No. Okay. I'm doing, okay, I'm doing my video. All right, so I've ordered from Sticker Mule in the past, um, which means I already know what's in this little box here. They do actually give you some extra goodies too. So you get a couple stickers, there's a coaster, all that fun stuff. Clip out your very own bottle of mule sauce. It's good stuff. It's, um, it's kind of funny. I didn't, I didn't like get into sticker mule because of the mule sauce, but I've gotten probably four or five orders from them. So I've run through a few bottles. It's actually pretty tasty, nice, sweet, spicy. So this right here is my normal size package for my dumpster stickers. Oh, bow. So this is what will go on the side of my dumpsters for now. This is my temporary um, sticker to go on each side, just to get that phone number and business name and website out there. Then on the front of the dumpsters. So one of the first things I'll do is they send me the proof copies as well as the ones that I order. So if you order, let's say 10 stickers, you'll get 11, but the 11th will have uh, it's pretty much non-usable. There's like a sticker on it. Um, that's their proof copy when they do a die cut sticker. So this is my proof copy. I'm going to set the proof copy of the other stickers up there as well. Um, just to have a frame of reference of how exactly I'm going to do it. And then I'll clean everything off and get it set in place. I got you. Gotta love it. I got you. Alright. So I'm not 100% but I'm pretty sure this is how I'm gonna do it. And then I think on the left side of the cans, I'm gonna do all of my warning labels and stuff. Nope, changed my mind. I'm gonna do the raccoon 
on the left side and I'm gonna do the warning labels on the right side because also on the right side is gonna be the unit size and number so I can see that from my driver mirror and know which can I have on the back. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. You see this nasty little, this is a, this is what you call a learning scar. So, give her a little bit of character. Kind of looks like the raccoon claw, you know, especially now with the, la the raccoon claw, or the raccoon right next to it. So, that's kind of funny. Might be a good idea for my future bins. Do something like that intentionally. Good morning, beautiful people. So I, uh, I did a bin yesterday. I did it on my trailer in my yard and I was like, eh, you know, I'm gonna do the rest of them on the ground. So um, I didn't finish it completely, but I did play with the layout a little bit, um, which you should have saw already, but I'll uh, end up playing around a little bit again because I'm gonna do some 15 yarders as well as some 20 yarders, but I'm also gonna strip and redo this dump trailer here to do the new logos and all that good stuff. So. Uh, I got everything set up once again, got a few different uh, things, and I got little man with me as well, so we're going to knock it out and uh, see how many bins we can get done today. So I interrupt this sticker video to deliver a couple dumpsters. Um, so this is actually a great example of why you don't make enemies in this business. You make friends and you don't make competitors, you make collaborators, right? This dumpster actually was referred to me from Raps Roloffs, which is Zach, uh, he's a local guy here. Young like myself, been in it a little bit longer than me. I think he started um, probably close to three years now because I'm creeping up on two years ago, which is absolutely insane for me to even fathom that the, <laughs> how, how long I've been doing it. Um, so he is already up to, last I checked, which was months ago, 47 dumpsters, and he now has two F650s in addition to, I believe, he still has his other two trucks. I don't know if they got sold yet or not, but um, he had an older international style. I don't know if it was international, but let's call it an international. And an F550 or 450. Um, so just a little cab Ford, and now he has the two big cab Fords, uh, 650s being as good as you're gonna get pretty much in this business under CDL. And he's running something like 50 cans with another driver, possibly another uh, a third driver at this point. I'm not sure if he's added another guy yet, but um, I don't hang out with these guys or talk to them religiously, but I do always check in. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm, I'm liking posts. I'm trying to, you know, pump them up as much as I'm trying to pump myself up because at the end of the day, uh, you never know what resource uh, is going to help you the most in this business, right? Um, a big part of the business that I struggle with is the local community outreach, right? I know a lot of people, I've got a lot of friends, um, but I'm a very antisocial person to a large degree, right? I have the skill sets and the knowledge of how to be a social person, but if it were up to me, I'd be out in the wilderness you know, trying to light fires with rocks and beat stuff over the head with clubs. But um, there's a level of convenience that this life gives us if we're willing to put in the work um, socially that can be of great benefit to you in your business. So um, always, always, always look for opportunity to grow, look for opportunity to network, look for opportunity to socialize, and you never know when business is gonna um, come back in your direction from the business that you help other people gain, essentially achieve, give them that little bit of boost. So uh, not wraps, but I have another guy here that I've sent a lot of business to last year. 
um, when I couldn't handle it from my three dumpster business. Now I'm at the point where I've got nine dumpsters. Um, so I, I have way more dumpsters than I have business and I need to, you know, obviously get that cycle changed. So um, when you have a little bit of overflow, don't just let it go off into the breeze, send it to people that can use it and send it to someone that you know is gonna take care of that customer and do a good job. Because I've booked customers after I've referred them away from me because I referred them to someone that was good, uh, but at the end of the day, they wanted to do business with me because it showed good character that I was even willing to set them up with someone and to go out of my way when I'm not getting anything from that business. Uh, it, it made them want to do business with me when they needed it that second time. Now, that's not gonna happen all the time. A lot of times you refer them out, the person does a great job, they end up continuing to go with that person, or they never need another dumpster you know, again, or at least not for a long time. So I'm not saying you give out a dumpster, you get a dumpster, but if you're not gonna get the business anyway, why wouldn't you try to you know, manipulate it so that the people in your life that you know that could benefit from it get that reward? Because if, if you're helping out everyone around you, they're gonna wanna help you out too. It's just the way it works. So, uh, long rant, but this is gonna get dropped real quick. The second that I got off the phone with this customer, I hung up and I got another order come into my phone. It's technically for tomorrow, but I'm just gonna get it dropped now because I'm available and it's a dump trailer. Side note, very, very surprised. I, I expected the dump trailer thing to just kind of fizzle out once I got the roll-offs, but people have been requesting some dump trailers. All right, so I've done uh, two of the three dump trailer drop-offs for today. Really surprising how popular they got, although I did kind of push two of the people toward the dump trailers just for my convenience, because I didn't want to hook up the roll-off trailer and do a bunch of swap, you know, bin in between type stuff with both. So all three dump trailers are rented out which is nice. I drop two of my 20 yards uh, tomorrow from the roll-off side, but today I'm still focused a little bit on stickers. So um, I did the front raccoon. I'm gonna end up pulling the rent me off of that. I pulled the rent me off the side over here and just left that, the big square in the middle. This is gonna get replaced. I have smaller ones that have the raccoon now in the center. Um, but yeah, we're uh, essentially what we're doing is not just advertising, but also branding, right? So advertising is, hey, I have a thing, this is how much it costs, or you don't have to say that, um, but essentially here's my thing. When you're branding, it's here is Maxco, and no matter what piece of my equipment you're looking at, you see Maxco, right? That is the green dumpster, that is the green Max Co with the big X, you know, that is my whole kit and caboodle. So the more uniformity you have amongst your equipment, um, the more big neon green dumpsters that get dropped out in the neighborhood, the more people start to remember and see the name and, you know, it's, oh, the, the Joneses got the dumpster, the green one. What's the name? Oh, I saw it online. Oh, what's the Max Co? And then eventually, um, your branding takes over for itself and keeps you from needing to advertise. But advertising is going to get you the business in the beginning. Branding is going to get you the generational wealth. So you want to do both, but branding is super, super important. And I don't think people do it enough in this business. Um, it, it does cost money, you know, like uh, obviously I have the new truck with the new dumpsters, with the new dump trailers. Um, in order to stay consistent, you, you could save a lot of money and you know go outside of um, new, buy a bunch of used stuff that's all different, different brands, and just try to tie it together the best way you can. But if you can buy everything you know, uniformly, it just helps that brand recognition a little bit. So it is great when a day turns out to be more eventful than it uh, was anticipated to be when it started. We are dropping off dump trailer number three now, um, and dump trailer number two is already ready for pickup. My wife told me the other day she needed to get a new changing table, 
And she was also saying that the chair we have to rock the children in was a little small. But today, we got a free changing table. And we got a nice big old chair to rock the babies in. It's great how that works. I wanted to go on record that I don't often go dumpster diving. But here we are today. So, um, gentlemen, hit me up for a dumpster this morning. Said he had to get out of his current place and just needed to get rid of the last few items that were there that he was trying to get rid of. So I dropped him off a dumpster. Two hours later, he texted me to come back and it was done. And here we are. So before anyone feels bad for this gentleman that I'm taking the items, um, he's all right. He was driving a truck worth 20 or 30 grand more than mine, 3,500 class. He has receipts in here for Versace bathrobes for $600. And he was in a very nice gated community nearby my house. So let's just go through a couple items. Pop-up tent still in the box. I believe these are quad ATV ramps right here. It's actually a trifold, which I've never seen before. Nice set of boots, a little tool belt, kids table that needs a little cleaning, but I mean, honestly, it's plastic. It's going to be all right. Nice Bravo stroller. I think those are five, 600 bucks. Nice little pool chair, nice little wicker basket thingy, nice little kids vest, little pop-up tent, kids pool. This is just a little scrap metal I'm pulling out of there. This couch looks like it was real nice and clean till it got put in a dumpster. That's the dirtiest mark on it and it was upside down. Got a whole uh, crib set. Got a dog kennel. Already took a few scooters and stuff out of there. So the kids got a little come up today. And I got, I don't know, I'm gonna end up some scrap metal and maybe 200 pounds, 300 pounds of disposal. So yeah, not a bad haul. All right, so I am still at it. <laughs> it's day three. I'm just gonna call it the end of this video because it's getting a little, uh, getting a little crazy. I gotta throw another raccoon up on the front of this guy, but that'll be how my 15 yarders get done not ideal i'd prefer not to have the phone number on the low angle but i am trying to get more people to the website it does still give you the ability to see the phone number um, and i didn't have to order two different size decals so it'll work all right so i've been trying to do this video now for three days um i keep getting things coming up which is a good thing because i've been getting a lot of dumpster bookings that i'm having to drop off stuff um, and then i'm also dad so that's a whole nother ball game but I wanted to show you where I got the stickers from. Um, I'll get into the price of them and I'll get my thoughts on quality and stuff like that. So um, I've ordered from one of the two companies a lot in the past, so I have a very long experience with Sticker Mule. Um, I've probably ordered two or $3,000 worth of stickers from them um, in total in the last year and a half. They've been great. Every single one has come perfect. I've got zero flaws on their end. Um, they do what's called a die cut sticker. They have a lot of categories, but the one that I tend to go to is the die cut stickers. Those are the ones that have the um, cut out of the outline and they make really, really good like logos, uh, for example, really good. And if you look at the price of, for example, the squares on the side of my dumpsters, you can get a very large form sticker for a pretty nice price when you actually get into it. So um, the second store was called Roeda. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it. It's R-O-E-D-A. Um, it says store.roeda.com, but it's probably because I'm in their store. So Roeda.com most likely. But uh, if you Google Roeda sanitation stickers or waste management stickers, I'm sure they'll come up. Um, very good quality, very cheap. And a lot of these are just, you know, select from here, our options and order. Um, there may be other websites that have bigger selections. I don't know. This one had the ones that ultimately I needed. Um, I kept it pretty simple. One of my stickers was a three sticker sticker. The other was a singular, 
but it pretty much got through the messages that I needed to get through. So let me just, all right. So this is roweda.com. Now, for some reason, I couldn't find the email with my breakdown of price for these guys, but um, essentially all the stickers were like 99 cents a piece. Um, I ordered, give or take, I think 10 of these, 10 of the other ones, and then on the maximum load level, um, I either did 20 or 30. I can't really remember, but uh, I got a bunch of them. The order came out to 70 bucks, something along those lines. Uh, most of that cost was shipping, uh, which was like 20 bucks. So if you're gonna do an order from Rueda, all the items are cheap, but the shipping costs a couple bucks. So order as many stickers as you possibly can, just so you don't have to order them again in the future. Uh, the other was Sticker Mule, all right? So Sticker Mule did these stickers for me, and then the Mule Sauce is a freebie. They just throw that in, I think, anytime you go over 100 bucks. So these were $808, okay? Now, depending on exactly how you do your dumpster would determine how many dumpsters you can do this on, but this essentially works out to be 10 dumpsters for me, right? It's two of the Maxco on each side, two of the Raccoon front and back, and then two of the QR codes placed wherever you want on the bin. Um, so when you look at that total price tag, uh, 781 10 so effectively I can do 10 dumpsters for 83 bucks a piece uh, I just have to do them myself even if you account for some error which I did um, I always plan for a waste of at least one of the stickers of each category because you're probably gonna mess one of them up um, even with that I still save way more money doing it myself but um, gorgeous stickers quite frankly they're great I would tell you to order large flat surfaces whenever possible stuff like the raccoon isn't too bad like you can see there's a good amount of edges but not a crazy amount of edges but the less edges you have the nicer and easier it is to lay that sticker down um, i would definitely recommend going that route but yeah guys uh if there's anything i can do you let me know appreciate y'all hanging out with me you have a good one